In this video, I'm going to be doing a solo hackathon, building a Chrome extension to unblock Medium articles. It's about 3.06 a.m. in the morning where I'm at. I couldn't sleep, so I said I might as well dive in and build something cool. So for more context on what I mean by unblocked Medium articles, I'll show an example. So let's say, I don't know, you search Google for a Medium article, uh, medium.com. Let's say an article on ChatGPT. Okay, this looks like a cool article. Let's see if it is blocked. This is actually not blocked. Uh, okay, yeah. So when I mean not blocked, this did not have member, member only story, meaning you have to like sign up to basically view this article, right? Exactly. You have to create an account to view this article. And if you do not want to create an account, there's a way to get around this manually today using web archives. If you're not familiar with web archives, web archives are basically snapshots of web pages in history. So at the time this page was probably viewed by someone that signed in, they could potentially archive this page and we could basically go back in history to view the web page. So I'm going to show you two examples of how we can view the archived web page of this article. Can I use something like archive.ph? We just paste our article here, then we search. So it shows us several versions basically of the archived article. I'm just going to click on this, which should give me the latest version. So if I scroll down, as you can see, no need to sign up again. I can basically view this article without creating a medium account. If that makes any sense. Another way to do it is to use um, the Wayback Machine which is web.archive.org. You just paste the article URL here. It should pull up all the available archived web pages. So once I click on this version from March 5, it should basically pull up that particular web page. So this basically pulls up the snapshots taken on the 5th of March, 2024. I then need to create a Medium account and I can view this particular article so the goal of the extension is basically to automate this process so for building this chrome extension i'm going to be using archive.today so the approach i'm taking to building this is basically once you click on the extensions icon it should basically open the archived page for you directly instead of going through this manually so we're going to have two triggers one where you click the extension and it basically opens the archived page in a new tab and when you right click we should have an action that basically says something like open archive page basically or archived version whatever we decide to call it so in terms of the flow of the extension we would open this page then click on this link automatically so if you notice here there is already a pattern which makes this slightly easier we can see that there is the web page url and archive.ph url so as long as i can get the url of the current tab i can basically open this page in a new tab then i'll have a script injected in this particular page which all i have to do is click on this to open the snapshots of the web page so that's pretty simple so in my mind i'm thinking this should be ideally done in 15 minutes but because there are certain things I've not done before, like I've never implemented action button when you right click the web page and some other bits, I'm going to assume it might take longer than 15 minutes, but, but stay tuned to find out if I do actually finish this in 15 minutes. So since I have all I need, I think I'm ready to start. I've created the folder called on block medium. So I'm just going to start the time and hope I finish in 15 minutes or less. Yeah, so first thing I need to do is create a manifest JSON file. Actually, I think I should just open, I should have a sample extension. So I just want to copy just to speed up a lot of what I'm doing here. Uh, so we just have manifest.json. I'm just going to paste that. I'm just going to name this unblock medium. Do need the icons? I think we would need background.js, but I'm just going to create that real quick we would need let's make this one i don't think we need a pop-up as, as at this moment uh we need access to archive.ph so we could have our script we don't need the css i think we could just call this script.js or something like that yeah keep this very simple i think for most parts we are good we don't need the local 
let's load up the extension. Yeah, so we have the extension loaded up. Let's see if we can pin the extension. Okay, so the first thing to figure out is how can we trigger on click of this icon? That's probably the most important bits to figure out. Uh, on click of icon. So we can basically test that to see if that was actually correct. I in this case I just want to console log. I think we will need the permissions. We need the permissions key here because we are going to be dealing with tabs. I'm not completely sure, but yeah, I think we need a task permission. I'll be back. So we should be able to test this right now. Let's see. Oh, I think we need the version. We need the, we need the manifest version three for this. Ah, uh, this is not good. <laughs> It's looking like there's no way I can finish in. I don't think I will finish in one hour at this point. But yeah, we need a version. What's the latest version for this? Let me just browse it. So let's see if there's a version 3 answer for us. So this is the version 3. When user clicks on a browser action. Let's see if this is it. Send a message to the active tab. In this case, we are not sending any message. I just want to. I want to be sure that this actually works the way it, it is. So let's see if this would work. Huh, this is so strange because none of these are working. I think for now I might skip to context actions because this bit is taking longer than I thought it would. Obviously I'm going to find it, but right now, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why this is not working. It's like from action on click. This is what I'm looking for. Why didn't it work? I'm not I'm not I'm not sure what's happening. There's something off here. I really don't know why it's not working. Like I'm missing something. I'm just going to copy this. From action. Yeah. I mean they look fine to me. I don't need this. Why it's not working, I'm not sure. So I think I might switch to Context action. Oh, really? This doesn't make any sense. Apparently, I need to add action. I don't think, I don't think it was specified here. Oh, it is actually. That's crazy to me. That is crazy to me. As you can see, this is the first time I'm actually doing, attempting to, you know, tap into that on click event. So that's why this has taken longer than expected. But let's just say, click to, I guess. Of one archive page, but this should be fine now. So, uh, yep, looks fine. I'm opening the dev tools just to see what it brings out in the console. Once we click this, we should see the console basically. As you can see, I can't click, so we're good to go <laughs> on that first bit. So, the next step is we need to get the URL of the current tab. I, I think, actually, I think we might not need tabs, all we need is active tab actually. I'm just going to confirm what the API, you know, for the active tab part of the Chrome extension. So the active tab permission, you know, gives permission to the active tab. So how do we use it? I don't really have examples here. Oh, duh. Sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot. We already have access to the tab, actually. I was need to log this. Can't believe I forgot that. So we have access to the tab. So let me just log this, just confirm what that is, what that looks like really quickly. So I'm just going to, what's wrong? Oh, sorry. I mean, we might not need this to be honest, but for now let's leave that there. And let's go to our sample article. This is our sample article. I'm just going to copy this out, um, load that up. And once I click this, we should be logging the tab. As you can see, we are logging the tab and this is the URL we need basically. So with this URL, we can go to the next step. If you remember, 
all we need to do is archive.ph slash the URL. That'll basically open up this. So I think that's what we'll be doing next. That's what we'll be doing next. So once we have the URL in this flow, we we could do this in two ways. Either use Windows or open. Okay, I'm not sure we have access to Windows here. We have to use Chrome dot I think it's the window dot create. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna quickly Google this. <laughs> I'm just googling everything. Uh Chrome dot window. I think it's create. To be honest. I'm not sure. Or oh actually I think it's tab. Chrome dot tab. I don't need a window, it's a new tab I need actually. So so how do we open new tabs again? Remind me. Yeah, this is what we do to open a new tab. And I think we need the do we need tab? Okay, we can use the active tab permission apparently. Let's try that. Active that tabs or tab. Yeah, tab. Makes sense. Let's attempt to do that basically. So here what we need to pass is the tab URL. We're doing this anymore. So with this flow, we would have opened we should be able to open that particular this particular page in a new tab. Perfect. So we've done basically half of the oh no. Yeah, we've done actually half of the work. I forgot a section, which is this. We need to append archive.ph. As you can see, I've passed 15 minutes. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I have the ph. Yeah, this should work fine anyways. No need to test that. So next step is the script. What script is going to do is not going to do anything special, actually. Um, it's just simply going to try and target this. You have to find a way to click this, basically. I'm trying to see if there's anything special to, I guess, locate that particular. Because there are many links. And I want to click the right link. I think we should just look for any link that has a href of... Are these the same links? I don't think so. This looks like this is a different link. Huh, this is tricky. This is slightly tricky. You know what? I'm just going to assume the text block, right? So the first um link in the text block should be our link to class text block so let's just quickly test that out document dot query selector text block and this is the first sorry the first one yeah right now we're assuming that's always going to be the case but it might not be the case but for now i think this works we can always find tune later yeah so our script will basically have that so the idea is to get the link and click the link if there's this if link and link dot click so this should actually work fine i suspect this should be enough to satisfy the requirements uh i'm just going to reload the extension again and test this so once i click on this yeah as you can see <laughs> we've we've basically solved that pretty quickly actually i was going to say maybe i was supposed to like wait a bit for the page to load to pretty much run that but it looked like it worked without that but ideally you'd want to wrap this in a window dot page load yeah window on load i think i think that's how it's done and just carry this in but i mean as long as it works right so once we click the icon it looks fine I, I i'm not a fan of the lag but the reason for the lag is obvious but it's difficult to like go straight to this page without Searching first if the archive or the snapshots exist. I think this is fine. So the next thing or the last requirement is to add a context action. I think that's what they're called. Something similar to this or this, basically. I've never done that before, so that too might take a while. I'm just going to search the documentation for what context action actually looks like. Okay, it's called the context menu. I need to see an example. I think I'll just Google this as well. I mean, I could also use ChatGPT, but I don't want to for now. Context action, Chrome extension. Sorry, context menu. Yes, right click, right click page, something like that. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, this is ridiculously simple. If this is really what it is, it is ridiculously simple. So let's just put that. I mean, obviously, I could have gotten that from the documentation, but it would have taken me longer. This is this is actually the faster approach. Solve that. Let's just make this an arrow function. Sorry. I'm not sure what this function is supposed to do. Let's just figure out what exactly this API. We need to create. Let's create. So what does create look like? I guess you create properties. 
can I see an example? Oh, properties callback. I'm not sure what the callback is for, but I'll just leave this for now, I guess. I'm not, I'm really not sure what the callback is for. So this title will be um, open, let's just call it unblock medium for now. In truth, all we are doing is basically um, getting the archived web page. I'm going to call that unblock medium just to test. I'm not sure what the callback has or what it returns what exactly i would use it for but i'm just going to just figure out at what point should we i think we won't need this actually to be honest i think we can just literally um do this exact thing here yeah i'm just going to do that we also we don't need the event at all we just need the url oh of course i need to figure out the active tab i'm not totally sure what this event contains hopefully the event contains the tab the tab that that particular, you know, this action is clicked. So let's try again real quickly. Um, I have to refresh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it should work. Okay, there's an error. Pass an ID parameter. Ooh. Ah, God. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, you should read the documentation. Let's see what properties looks like. I'm only seeing optional properties here. So why mandatory for event pages? I don't know what that means to be honest, but let's pass ID. I don't know what type of ID on block medium, I guess. On block medium. Let's see if that works. I'm guessing it's because we're using this event. That's why. But let's try it out. Accession using event cannot pass. This is why function that is called that is called back when this is not available inside. Oh really? I did not know this. How can I use this fashion? Oh, okay. This is perfect. This comes with the tab, actually. In that case, we do not need this. I still do not know if we even need this, to be honest. I feel like we can just simply create. I'm guessing the callback is optional. Uh, we don't need the onclick. All we need here is the function. And the function, I think, comes with the tab. Onclick data, info, and tab. I don't think I need info. I'm not passing any info, to be honest. Let's just have this as. Uh, let's see if we're correct. Click the tab. I just test if this solves. Oh, there's something. There's something else. I need to see a usage of this actually. What does on click that I have? I need to see a usage of this. It it actually has the page URL. Interesting. I need to see a usage of this. Let's just have this as info and have this. So this will be info and this will be tab. My time is like really gone. I feel like you know this is what happens when you are trying to learn during an, an hackathon ideally you should probably you know if you are going to do this professionally if you're going to do an hackathon professionally you should probably use things that you already know for sure oh this is so cool as you can see on block medium and when i click on box on block medium let's see um dev tools Ooh, this is cool this is quite simple but i guess it's slightly worrying what if i have a lot of different Oh, so I can use the menu item ID to differentiate. This makes perfect sense, actually. So in the case whereby I had like, you know, other context menu items, I'll just use the ID to, I'll just have like a check here where I'm like, this info, right? I'm like, if, I mean, I could do this for fun here though. If info dot, I'm too lazy to type. Can I copy this? Menu item ID is equals to unblock medium then yeah pretty much this is always this is actually what we're trying to do this actually would do exactly what we wanted to do and that's it i think we're done we just need to test so let's test again and when i right click and i click on unblock medium yep as you can see it loads up the archive page so i'm just going to pause the time so it took about 31 minutes one second to basically build out all i wanted to build out I hope it was fun for you as much as it was fun for me. As you might have noticed, I did a lot of researching and Googling because I've never done like two of those things. Even though I've built Chrome extensions before, I've never um, attempted to hook onto the on-click of the icon or, you know, experiment with context menus. So this was a very good project for me to learn those two things. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, drop a comment. Let me know so that I can do basically more solo hackathons if this is fun for you. Take care and see you later.